I'm just going to give you a few Podio basics and an overview of our dashboard. Um, Podio is a great system. When you first log in using Podio.com and hit the login button, you will log in with an email and a password that is unique to you. Um, and you can just log in every time uh, as as your email and your password. Uh, when you log in, you will automatically get cr um, your your organization that you're going to be part of, and you can create your own workspaces. You can create your own tasks. You can create your own, you know, apps. Um, anything that you want inside your Podio organization and workspace. When you sign up with us in our Podio system, um, we will add you to our organization and we will give you your own workspace under our organization um, and that just allows us to you know complete all the automation and the back-end type stuff is um, but you it's your workspace the only people that will be a part of it from us will be our support team and then you can add as many employees as many virtual assistants um, they're called external users is what they're called and you just sit simply invite them to your workspace by clicking this button um, and adding their email and inviting them um, also to think about with Podio is you can do Podio chat. This is where you can get messages back and forth between contacts, between people that you're connected with. Um, we also uh, send messages through Globiflow um, through the Podio chat. This is your notification button. So when things happen inside anything that you are either following or any of your workspaces or apps that you're a part of you know you get updated to what's going on inside of them I kinda take a quick peek through these I kinda know which ones these are so I'm gonna mark them all as red and that's your notifications if you get a message if you get a task sent to you uh, anything will give you a Podio message this is your account menu this is where you can change your profile picture um, your account settings, you can create other organizations for yourself, your billing is here as well, um, and then your batch job when you are exporting information from apps, like the data inside the apps, those show up in your batch jobs. And then the shared apps is like if you share things. Um, search. This is where you can search. You can search a single app or you can search globally all through your Podio. You can search for a certain address, a certain seller's name. Uh, you can search for a contractor's phone number. That's what this search bar does. Podio help and support. This is if you're having problems with a Podio and have a Podio question. This is how you get in contact with Podio. Not us in our Podio system. You have to go to our website and submit a support ticket for that. But if you want to talk to Podio about Podio, about something specific with them and not our system, uh, this is how you contact them. Obviously, if it has to do with our workspace and what we're doing and helping you with, please give us a call. Contact us. These are your tasks. Um, tasks are a very integral part of Podio. You can hit T on any screen and give somebody a task. Oop, I was inside that. I can hit T on any screen and give somebody a task. Now, again, in our system, we do not use tasks. We use our dashboard, and we create tasks in the dashboard. We can create them in any of the apps that you're in, um, but this tasks does not connect to our dashboard tasks, and that, and that is something to note and to differentiate, that when you're using our system uh, we really we, we don't use this task button we use the dashboard and the dashboard is basically our tasks app and it uh, allows us to do all the automation and everything that we do on the back end so if you have a task for somebody just create a new dashboard item for them um, here's your calendar this is a pretty cool feature things that happen inside your inside your workspace when leases are due when contracts are supposed to be closed on uh, just in any sorts of things you can they all automatically get added to your Podio calendar this as well can be connected to your Google Calendar or other iCloud type calendars so when you add something in your acquisitions app say you set an appointment with the seller um, you were texting back and forth inside the app and you guys confirmed on you know Monday at 10 o'clock 10 a.m. you could put that in the app that shows up it automatically pushes to this calendar and if you have it hooked up to your Google Calendar then it'll automatically show up on your phone as well that's a pretty cool neat little feature and then this is just your connections if I anybody that I've connected with on Podio anybody that's part of any of the workspaces I'm a part of um, the, that's my connections on Podio alright so let's delve into dashboard really quick since we've gone over the basics of Podio dashboard is again like I said this is kind of our tasks app this is we, we call them dashboard items and this is where you go 
every day and and take care of the items your new dashboard items basically if people give you a task to do if uh, the auto the automation and the dashboard templates and the workflows are set up and you have 10 new acquisitions you've got and you're the acquisition manager you'll have 10 new tasks in your dashboard to go and look at those new leads and filter them and, and follow up as needed um, again if you're if you're the rehab um, you know rehab manager if you've got a new house under contract that you just got on a contract yesterday and you pushed it to the rehab and it's a new for you and it's you know you need to go out and do an inspection you can automate all of that follow-up or you can like manually create a task for your your manager to go check a look at this house and start doing the weekly checklist give me a budget for it all of those things can be done and accomplished in our system so so uh, easy to do just add an item to somebody so uh, if I want to give a task to you know the owner of the company to you know to check to check the you know when when do we need to pay for our next um, our next subscription for our website you know our GoDaddy domain or something I can just manually create this task and give it to them uh, if um, if I want to uh, go in and change some of the automation in here so like when a new acquisition comes in and there's a new lead if I want to change what automatically fires off to my acqu acquisition manager again he gets it in the dashboard but I change it in the dashboard template so I go in here and I change you know my acquisition new lead template and let's see it's down here at the bottom if I remember right do, do, do acquisition or it's at the top there it is new lead right so if I want to change this all I have to do is come in here and delete this and change it to whatever I want it to if I want to make up my own all I have to do is create a new dashboard template and create it here once I create it here then all I have to do is go to workflows and I can tag it de depending on where I made it so if it's um, acquisitions again and I don't want it to be new lead um, you know that I didn't like the one that came with mine so when status one and acquisition is checked I don't want this one I can remove it and then I search for the title of the one I just created it's not there because I didn't really just create it but that's how you do it so then when a new acquisition is made it searches here it searches for the template uh, I have whatever template I want here that's gonna fire off and then that's what is created new in my dashboard for my acquisition manager to do um, the dashboard is a great great tool you can really see uh, how your business is functioning you can really add in a lot of automation and customization with it um, and and hopefully this was helpful giving you a little bit of Podio basics as well as a little bit of an overview of our dashboard and how it all connects and how it all works in our system thanks for listening